All right, so welcome back to another episode of our Discord bot uh, dashboard series. So what we're going to do in this episode, uh, like I mentioned in the last episode, is we're going to go ahead and create another server. We're going to add that bot to that server. And we're going to make sure that it works. Uh, we're going to we're going to test out different prefixes and make sure that that works. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead right now. Um, so let me actually do this. Uh, okay, so right now our bot is running. Okay, you can see that in the memory in the guild.configs uh, property, it has that guild configuration in the map. Now, in order for us to get our newer guilds, the guild configurations into this map in memory, we would actually need to restart the bot over and over again. And that's obviously not ideal because you don't want to obviously do that, right? So in the last video, I mentioned what we have to do is we just literally need to add the configuration to the map inside the guild create event. And that's a very simple process. It's literally just one line of code. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and do that. So, um, let's see. Let me just show you what happens if I just create a server. Uh, let's skip this question. Let's create one. Okay, there we go. So, we have another server. Let's go ahead and add the bots to the server. Okay, I'm not too sure which uh, server this is. Let me actually change the name uh, for this one. BMW server. All right, let's try that now. All right, there we go. All right, so let's click authorize. All right, there we go, the bots in the server. Let's look at the logs. You can see that a configuration was not found creating one. If we were to go into the database, you can see that we have that guild there. Uh, the only problem is that it does not exist in the memory. If we try to run commands, uh, like right over here, it's not gonna work no configuration set as you can see and the reason why it's saying no configuration set is because it's not in memory so that's the reason why it's not going to work so all we got to do is literally just add one line of code so uh, every single time the bot joins we're going to go ahead and add it to memory so even if the configuration was found we just got to do config not config clients configs and we just call dot set guild.id and then pass in config just like that. And there's no issues with type because they are literally all the same type. And we do the same thing down over here, but instead of passing in config, we just pass in new config. So new config, and there we go. Now, uh, this might be problematic because uh, there might be an issue with saving. So let me actually do this. Uh, instead of actually doing new config, let me do this const saved config equals awaits because i just am worried that if we use new config that might there might be problems with saving the config so the new config would still be in the memory even though it's not actually in the database which is not what we want so let's save it first and if there are issues uh we'll handle that ourselves but uh, client.configs.sets and that'll be guild.id saved config there we go Okay, um, and I'll just console log client.configs uh, afterwards. There we go. Okay. So, okay, so you can see that our guild is actually in the config right now because it just the server just restarted. So if we were to use the test command, that would work. Um, let's go ahead and create another server. Let's see. Let's call this... Uh, Okay, and let's go ahead and invite the bot now to that server. Okay, so the bot should join the server. And inside the logs, you can see that a configuration was not found creating one. We log it. We log the aftermath of what client.configs looks like after we added it to add after we added the new config to memory. You can see it's literally right over here. Okay, and if I use the question mark test command it works previously it didn't or it wouldn't have worked because we didn't add that config okay and obviously when the bot leaves you can just remove it from memory if you want to save memory space of course but uh yeah that's just 
pretty much the gist of it. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else. Um, think of anything else. Okay. Well, now that we have multiple different guilds, let's just make sure that each guild uh, has can ha actually have its own prefix. Right. Right now, all the prefixes are the default ones. We haven't written any commands or any uh, functionality to change the prefix. Okay. But I'm just gonna manually update the prefix just for now. So to do that, we're gonna do update guild configurations set prefix. I'll set uh it's a dollar sign where ID equals to yeah. So this uh okay so yeah this just update the prefix. But obviously, because we updated in the database, we have not actually, it, it still is going to have the same prefix in memory. So the question mark will still work for all of the guilds, right? Or the, the guild with ID number two, which I'm not sure what guild that is. I think that's the BMW server. Um, now, this is a problem that I mentioned uh, in like the, in, in the, fir the very first video, uh, where when you update anything at the database layer, that that's not from the discord bot side let's say for example if you have the backend server like the express or nest.js server that's communicating with the database right from an action that's set from the front end uh, if it updates the prefix or updates something it needs to also update it in the bot as well otherwise it's not going to pick that up and the way to solve that is by using a websocket okay or like i said if you were to fetch the configuration from the database after every single message that also work but that's not efficient so that's a problem that we'll have to worry about later on when we get to that but don't worry about that for now okay let's just restart the server let's look at the logs and it should show a dollar sign for the second guild okay let's go over to that guild which is this one if i try to do question mark test that's not going to work if i do dollar sign test then that works so now that we we have proven that every guild can have its own configuration okay because we've written the correct logic to handle that all right so i think that's going to be it for this video just want to show a simple uh on simply how to do this um i think what's next for the bot i don't really think there's much honestly the prefix honestly is like sh demonstrating how to configure different prefixes is honestly i think a uh a very good introduction on how to set up multiple configurations for different guilds if i can think of other ideas i will do that probably maybe like a welcome channel id i think we'll do the welcome channel id and then after that we'll stop there and then we'll start working on the on the actual front end and back end for the dashboard okay i know right now we're on like episode six for the actual uh discord bot and the reason why we're taking our time with this is because i want to make sure that for this discord bot we're actually properly setting up an infrastructure for uh for the bot okay so that way there's not we're minimizing the amount of issues that we'll have to run into later on but obviously we will we will run into issues at some point but you know we're trying our best to set everything up so that way we don't have to worry about it later on but i think we have a pretty good solid uh architecture we have a pretty good solid system right now we have it when the bot joins it will literally uh, create or find a, a, a it will reuse the previous configuration we haven't done anything when the bot leaves yet um so we'll probably worry about that later well i do want to cover as much as i can before we actually get to the uh the the front end and back end stuff so if you guys have any suggestions definitely let me know and i'll go back to uh i'll go back to it later on so that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.